The 1931 Gavril Fanta. This is a 1930s race car that has a very hot engine. And I mean that completely literally. You'll see a bit later what I mean. This is a really cool vintage race car. It's one of the first, I think of its kind, one of these vintage race cars in BeamNG. It's a mod created by Lord Litchie 2006. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. We're going to be taking a drive of all the different variants today. I'm using my G27 steering wheel and track IR for head tracking, like that. Um, so it makes it a bit easier for me to drive because this thing is a bit of a handful. The exterior looks great, very vintage. I'm loving the white wall tyres and that little spare tyre on the side of the car there. The massive exhaust. This has a straight four engine. So if we just put our head into the bonnet, which you can kind of do, there you go. Straight four engine, uh, 100 horsepower. There is one big problem though, it overheats. So, rough. It's not very fast, but you know, these old vintage race cars were like this. The mod creator has acknowledged that the engine likes to overheat and they will be changing it, but that doesn't really detract too much from the fun of this vehicle, as you can see. Coolant is already overheating and we've only been going about 20 seconds. Yeah. Now, I am at the Lakeside Park Raceway, which is in Australia, Queensland, Australia. A very cool racetrack. Um, I chose it because apparently they used to race many decades ago here. It's like a vintage racetrack. Um, and I thought it'd be perfect for, for testing out this car. Ooh, that engine is really loud. For a straight four, that's really loud. Um, of course, it's got carburetors, it's a very old style of engine. Um, and you can understand it would run very hot. Head gas damage, so that, that's, we're dead. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> the engine's completely dead. You can understand it would run hot, but probably not that hot. Now, there's the P2, which is apparently a sport variant. Um, I don't really know how much different it is, though. It's got a very nice green paintwork, though. I love it. On the interior, we've got some nice light-up dials, they're good. And the switches over on the right there do move. Uh, the, the gear stick doesn't work, uh, move, sorry, which I was surprised about. So that looks pretty cool, it'd be cool if that thing moved. Um, it's in an odd position, isn't it? But anyway. I mean, cool, not overheating already. Have we got four gears? Yep, yeah, we've got, f no, we've got three gears. Oh! And you can kind of lose control of it like that. Oh, we didn't crash, okay. Although, we need to test the test crash physics, let's go. Yeah. It is a beast, although a very hot beast. Um, so yeah. Where can we crash? I'm seeing some barriers up there, that's a good place to crash. Now how good will the crash model be in this game? Because I don't think I think it's all been built from the ground up. Whoa! We actually hit something that slowed us down slightly there, but yeah, I mean, that's not too bad. When you see pictures of like old race car crashes, they do look quite like that. Um, let's go for a faster version. The, the P3 is the homologation one. There's a race variant, we're gonna try that. With these solid, um, I don't know, like alloy wheels? I don't know what they are, but they're, they're very different wheels to the ones we just had. I guess they're slicks, aren't they? Same engine, so we will get the overheating problem. But we're going to try and find a place to crash it. I don't like the orange. I would not choose an orange car ever. Um, even if it was a race car, oh! You just touch the grass and it does spin out. Now, I, I don't know if you played that game um, Mafia 1 or maybe the definitive edition of Mafia. They have a racing mode in that game that's really, really cool. Quite realistic for, a, for an action adventure game, not a simulation game. It's quite good at simulating race cars. And there are very few games out there that simulate these, um, era, this era of race cars. There's a game called Spirit of Speed, which I might have talked about before, on the Dreamcast, which is just one of the worst racing games I think of all time, at least in the rankings. It would definitely be up there. Uh, we're going to hit the wall here. Oh, the wheel came detached. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. This car is just basically, um, I think it's just a body soldered to the chassis. So yeah, 
you'd kind of if you hit a wall quick enough the whole body could come detached but yeah there is one more variant that's very exciting because I don't think it overheats as much. It is the 5.1 litre P4 straight to 8 race spec. This has a straight to 8 engine. Have you ever heard of that? The cylinders are all just in a line there. And actually the, the, the engine is very well detailed. Well done to the mod creator on that. Um, do you remember like, oh, there was a, on Top Gear they showed a car called the Brutus. Which was like a Messerschmitt, Messerschmitt engine um, race car. And they also had a Bugatti, no, not Bugatti, a Bentley on there, which had like a Spitfire or Hurricane engined. Um, yeah, Hurricane engine race car. Really, really cool. This is quite like that. From the same era as well. Ooh, don't lose. Oh, I've knocked it out of gear. Don't lose control. I don't like this view. It's too low down. We're going to go that view. Right, there you go. We're flooring it. We are not overheating yet. How fast can this thing go? It, I, I'm struggling to get grip. Here we go. Third gear. 80. 85. 90. 100. Oh! Whoa! Oh my goodness, we're going to crash. Oh! Wow, that was a jittery camera, but yeah. Whoa. Let's go again. Okay. I'm loving this. Yeah, BeamNG could be the game that simulates uh, these vintage race cars well. There are very few games out there. Whoa. Let's go. Can I use sequential? Yes, I can. Doesn't really work, though. Oh, we're going to over-ev it. I'm going to stick to that. Stick to the... Uh, Eight shifter. Oh, let's, let's have an explore of this map. Shaky cam. Okay. Turning circle is not actually that bad for a race car. We do have uh, indicators, which I thought was quite funny. Look. Yes. Indicators. Okay. This is a cool racetrack, actually. Um, I think Bathurst is the famous. Australian racetrack. So this is another one, Lakeside Park Raceway. I'm going to go under here. How does it sound for the tunnel? Let's have a go. Yeah, it doesn't rev very much. Only up to 4,000. Uh, let's go over here. Ooh. I don't think you'd be able to drift this thing. It's pretty difficult to drift. Ooh. Oh. Well, there's the lake. <laughs> We're off-road, yes! This is cool. I think uh, this is kind of a brilliant car to tune and modify into a, um, a hot rod, right? That'd be really cool. Some massive fat wheels at the back. Put a supercharger on it. It needs a bit more grip. But yeah, the mod creator, uh, Lord Litchie, will, or they've said they will, update it slowly in the future. It's only just been released like, a couple of days ago as I make this video. So, you know, these... Oh, look at the wobbly wheel. The problems are to be expected. Um, and they're listening to people's feedback. Go and download it from the description below, as well as, as, well as the Lakeside... Whoa! Lakeside uh, Racetrack mod. And come into my Discord server, because somebody suggested this very mod on the suggestions channel there. And if they hadn't suggested it, I would not have found it. So yeah, thank you very much to them. If you want to see something a bit similar to this video, you want to see some vintage race cars. Uh, a few years ago, I played a Sato Corsa and drove around Brooklyn's very historic English racetrack in a Bugatti. If you want to see that video, click the link that appears right now at the top right of this video. So yeah, from me, playing some BeamNG. Hopefully the 0.25 update will come out very soon. There's some exciting stuff coming for that. From me and BeamNG and this epic Although very hot race car, I will see you soon for some more simulator adventures. Whoa! Oh! Break! Ah, stop by the lake. Make sure to join my Discord server from the link in the description. Simulator Adventures channel memberships are available from as little as $1.99 per month and grant you access to exclusive perks including members only videos. Click the join button below this video to find out more. Special thanks to Ultra Sim fans Oh My Mandy and Ray Coxer.